We are expanding the campground. Here we go. This is our old beater of a um, dump truck right here. It sounds like a diesel, but it's not. It just sounds really bad, but it does the job. So all of these lots down here were already here. We're not adding anything down here. We're just moving a bunch of dirt down here and building up this uh, to make it easier to do the mowing and stuff, which I'll show you where all this dirt is coming from here in a minute. But we're also putting gravel down instead of grass back here because it's just really hard to mow, especially when you got campers back here. And this is gonna make it much easier to maintain long-term. Excuse the messy car, but we got this brand new um, optical level that I'm gonna put together here. All right, so here it is. 300 bucks from Menards, nothing too fancy. So essentially you get it on your points. Um, you've got a little, let's see if I, we can see this through here. You've got a little finder, maybe. You can kind of see it, there we go. Essentially, you got someone hold the tape measure down on a point and you find out where that point is and then you can extrapolate it to wherever you want, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm up here digging the holes. This is gonna be a new lot in here. This is kind of a side of a hill um, and we're cutting it in off this road so the camper will back or they'll pull, pull up. There's the shop down there, pull up here and then back down in. And so we're just trying to cut this shelf in here and we'll kind of cut all this out back here. I'll show you a different shot here in a little bit. Again, roadway coming up here, and it's gonna cut right back in here, kind of level into this hillside, and then the camper will pull straight back, and they'll do a back end. It's really cool back here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in this clip, but um, we're probably gonna clean some of these trees out, this buck brush, and this drops down into ravine, so it's gonna be you know, a really cool spot, um, really secluded back in here and you know, the kids can run down there in the ditch and have fun and get all dirty. So that is one spot we're adding there and then we're gonna cut in another spot there and then one more a little further down. And then we're also gonna be adding some spots down in that middle. Say what's up to Isaac, getting the mowing done. But there'll be another few spots down in this middle open area. So um, all together, I think we're adding probably at least 10 lots this summer, which is great. So we'll keep you updated on the progress. Getting her cut back, slowly but surely. So at the campground right now, we've got a lot of long-term guys, a lot of these guys up here 
have been here for a long time. We try to keep the campground a mixture of long-term and then short-term campers because it seems like if you get too many long-term campers, it kind of loses that fun atmosphere. Um, if it's a bunch of contractors and workers, but it is also very nice having that stable income, knowing exactly how many you've got paying every single month. So you can see this whole row up here is pretty much all long-term campers. And then we've got some short-term up that way, but then most of the guys, I shouldn't say most, but during the summer especially, most of the campers down here at the bottom we keep as shorter-term people, you know, just weekenders. Beautiful night. The lot that we were just taking the dirt from is way back up in there. And then Dad's running it down to this lower area down here. So we built up this all the way over here, all the way around. And then as I've been digging more, we have been raising it up back up here, which is going to help in more than one way. Looking good. So what's crazy to me is these long-term long guys are paying $600 a month, roughly, on average, and no one says a thing. So $600 a month, but we pay for all the utilities. we are rolling out for the night um, so as I was saying a lot of these guys are paying about 600 bucks a month which a lot of them are either contractors or nurses um, or some sort of there's also a big crew in here fixing hail damage a lot of times I get a stipend through work so 600 bucks a month doesn't sound bad to them at all um, and honestly it's really pretty fair because us paying utilities you know, it's probably at least 100, 150 bucks a month for their utilities per unit. So it comes out pretty good. But it's uh, pretty crazy to see what kind of money some of these guys have in their campers. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands, some of them. Uh, I passed one back there that's at least 200 grand. So later this year, we're probably going to look at painting the barn, which uh, comment if you guys have ideas on what we should be purposing this barn as or repurposing it as right now it just holds equipment um, there's up there the lot that we're cutting in I'll probably be back tomorrow to work on that again the office here with the apartment above is looking good with all the lighting all lit up and the new sidewalks around it looking fresh so yeah everything is looking pretty good around here and then I'll point out we had three different tent sites down on this hill there's one down there one here and then up there that camper and we ran utilities to them this year and now we have the ability to rent out campers so um, that's definitely increased the income as tents are not super popular these days. So one last thing I wanted to uh, talk about, um, as soon as I buy a truck, which is going to be one of these days, I actually had a truck picked out and then chickened out last minute because it's so expensive. Um, but as soon as I get a truck, I'm going to be buying a camper, which I've mentioned on the channel before. And it's going to be a camper that my wife and I will maybe use once or twice a year. But really the purpose of it is to try renting it out on Airbnb. Um, we get a lot of people that call us and ask us like, hey, we're just looking for you know a place for the weekend. Do you guys have cabins or anything like that? Well, instead of spending 70 to 100 grand on a cabin right now, I'm gonna buy a $20,000 nice um, camper and then throw it on Airbnb and try renting it out um, that way. Now, I'll also mention that we've done that before, not on Airbnb, 
but with an old junky $3,000 camper that we have someone paying $1,200 a month to live there. Again, like a contractor or something, um, here's here for like six months, paying $1,200 a month, which is crazy. So we've already got our money back on that. But this next one, I wanna go a little bit more premium and buy something nice that's gonna look good in Airbnb photos. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed for the upcoming updates. We'll keep you guys posted and we'll see you in the next one.